Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Taurus. So Taurus or Cross Watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement, and even if you don't, please only claim this reading from your higher self and for your higher good in a helpful, positive way or not at all. Now let's hit this. Clearing ground for Taurus, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Taurus. Taurus energy is always fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody who is in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how. We're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, please and thank you. Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Eight of Wands in reverse. Something could be losing momentum in your life. It could be anything, okay? Eight of Wands upright is rapid forward movement. In reverse, something is slowing down. There's a lack of progress. There could be a delay in something. Something you could be frustrated. Travel plans could be delayed or messed up. It's an eight of wands in reverse, okay? So something losing momentum, no matter what it is. If it was correspondence between people and stuff, that could be slowing down. Here you go. You got the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It seems like you need to be very clear thinking, or perhaps this is your challenge. Maybe use your head over your heart in a situation. The King of Swords is somebody who's very reasonable, disciplined, and balanced. Very intellectual, and they have a lot of integrity, but they don't let their emotions run away with them. They use their head over their heart, okay? They're very articulate, and they get things done, right? So let's see. So you, you need to be clearly thinking about something that's losing momentum here in your life making you know fair decisions and maybe articulating yourself okay at the foundation of the situation we have a queen of pentacles virgo capricorn taurus divine feminine somebody who's solid stable somebody who's um you know it could very sensible and down to earth this is a very practical energy it could be like the matriarch of a family it's somebody that has their own it's somebody that's very good with money and um very diligent and generous and crowning you, you have a four of wands, Aries energy. So obviously this could be you seeking in your power, I just want to say, at the foundation of the situation, okay? Four of wands, Aries energy talks about celebration and community. It talks about some kind of home, some kind of reunion, some kind of party, some kind of excitement. It's a four of wands, okay? So this is about, you know, somebody could be coming home like a homecoming, but it's about family, friends, and happiness, you know, some, some kind of gatherings show me what's going on here so here we go we got a two of swords in reverse two of swords in reverse there's some kind of truth coming out okay there's a clarity in the situation it could be an information overload whatever the two of swords in reverse is it could be somebody feeling very indecisive or confused but it is a truth revealed you're going to see something very clearly coming into the very near future okay and it could have to do with family show me what's going on not in, a, not in a bad way, though. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I think whatever this is, whatever this is, you just need to be very clear thinking and fair and reasonable about it, right? Not stubborn. <laughs> Love you, Taurus. Look, Ace of Swords. Wow! You guys are really getting some kind of truth here. Look, the Two of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a truth, a clarity, a victory, seeing something clear as day. Yeah. You know, all day, every day. Okay? It's a victory. It's a breakthrough. It's the facts. You're going to find out the facts. They're going to be so clear. Okay? And I don't know, you know, it could have something to do with your finances or your family. Or something that's losing momentum in your life here. Now, look at this. Look at this. In your environment, you have a Ten of Cups. Taurus, this is a beautiful reading for you. I love it. All right? With the Ten of Cups here, this is happiness, alignment, security, home, family, domestic harmony, support, love, contentment. You know, it's, it's happiness. It's family. Somebody, yeah, somebody could have a, somebody has a, a nose ring. Somebody has a, somebody wears a man bun here. Okay, here we go. So listen, Spirit wants you to do a little soul searching. I mean, for what, I don't know, because it looks like you have a really good read here. You could be dealing with somebody that's Virgo in their chart. The ninth could be of significance or September. Somebody could be 49 here. Um, yeah, here's the thing. 888, 888 megahertz, 888 hertz. That's to remove negativity today. The Hermit is an energy of someone who spends a little time by themselves 
and they do a lot of soul searching and self-reflection and they gain clarity from their own inner wisdom right and then they ascend spiritually so it, it's maybe a time for you to do you know go go do a little introspection go find your own inner guidance as to which way you know what i'm saying go talk to source for a while virgo uh, Virgo energy, I mean Taurus. I know you're Taurus, you're not Virgo, but that's Virgo energy. Yeah. That's what you need to be doing. The Hermit. It's going within for clarity. It's like a, a quest for personal truth. You know what I'm saying? And enlightenment. And spiritual enlightenment. Okay, here we go. Look at this. The moon came out in reverse. Listen, I don't know what you're about to find out. See very clearly. Uh, yeah. The truth revealed... The moon is in reverse. What was ever done in the dark shall now be revealed in the light, okay? This is the moon in reverse. This is um, an ending of any kind of um, misunderstandings, an unveiling of secrets. It's anxiety subsiding. It's gaining clarity. It's releasing fear. It's the moon. What was done in the dark is now coming out in the light. The 18 could be of significance, and then we've got a 9 again. So that's a 999, 999 megahertz. That's shamanic healing of Archangel Michael. Yeah, so maybe this is why you're going to need to go do some soul searching about whatever this is, okay? Listen, this looks like a really good reading. It doesn't really matter what's slowing down. Everything can't go at top speed always, right? So if something's losing a little momentum, it doesn't have to be anything big, you know? It'll just be anything, right? You just need to remain very clear thinking. You could be dealing with an air sign. And very fair, you know, the king of swords is somebody that's very fair. And they know how to articulate themselves. Maybe to, you know, this is the Queen of Pentacles here. Obviously, this could be you, Taurus. You know what I mean? Very stable, very hardworking, very routine-oriented, efficient, practical, down-to-earth. Maybe you're the matriarch of a family, but you don't have to be. This could be the family right here, the four of wands, right? There's a truth coming out. And maybe it has to do with all this happiness and love that you're getting over here. Because look at this. Maybe somebody wants to get married. Ooh, somebody might secretly propose. This is going to bring fairness and balance into your life. There you go, Taurus energy, the Empress. Look. I think the truth is going to come out that somebody loves you and wants to marry you. If you're not married already, look at this, okay? The Hierophant is Taurus energy. It is your energy, okay? It's, and it's going to be some kind of fairness and balance. So this is about doing things in a very traditional way. This is about um, knowledge sharing, conformity, marriage, commitment. It's also any legal issues that, you know, it could be like court, any documents that you have to sign. It's very conventional energy, okay? And with this, with the justice... Some of you could be um, going to court for real because the Hierophant could be a judge and justice obviously is justice. There could be some kind of court situation that's going to be very fair and balanced for you. All right. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. It might, you know, might turn somebody into Empress status here. Empress status. Somebody could be doing something worldwide. Somebody might be getting pregnant worldwide. What am I saying? You're going to complete some kind of a cycle and you're going to have this kind of wish come true. Look at this. Not, wow. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. Wow. So, so this is some kind of success. This is some kind of wish come true. Nine again, Archangel Michael. 21 or 3. 333, 333 megahertz, 333 hertz, pure energy of the ascended masters. Whatever is coming out, whatever secret this is, whatever you're going to see very clearly, as clear as day. Yes, those are the facts. It has to do with love and family and happiness. And you completed some kind of cycle. And there's going to be some kind of fantasy bounce that might, you know. It might bring up your finances because the Empress is somebody, but it is going to be a wish come true. So whatever this is for you, Taurus, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy. Now, let's see. I told you you got Virgo Taurus twice here. The world and the Empress is Taurus. And you got Libra and, um, yeah, the Hierophant is also Taurus. So this is your reading for sure. The Four of Wands is Aries, Cancer and Pisces and Virgo. Give me some kippers. Thank you. Okay, so look, you have. High honor. So high honor. Somebody, you know, when you say high honor over here in Brooklyn, it's like, I have respect for you. You have respect for me. I hold you in high honor. You know, uh, somebody could be 52 here. Seven could be of significance in July. Somebody could be in the military of the law. Somebody might like those um, those um, Civil War reenactment things or like to watch the History Channel. The History Channel, I'm hearing. The 31st could be of significance or the 4th or April. Somebody could be sick here. Somebody might be at home in bed. They might have some kind of visiting nurse or something. Somebody's in bad health, okay? It looks like they're stuck like they're stuck in bed. There's a main male here. Okay? The first could be of significance. Mm -mm. So, you know, you could be this main male or it could be a main male bad health here. There could be a thief. There could be a main male that's a thief. I don't know. But there's 24. 42 could be of significance. 24 or 7 again. So, I mean, 6, 6, 6. Sorry, 6, 6, 6. <laughs> 6, 6, 6. Show me. Anything else for Taurus? You're going to get suddenly wealthy. See, this is what I'm talking about. 
You could be going, whatever this is, didn't I say you're going to bump up financially? However you're getting this wealth, it's going to be different for everybody, but, you know, it's, it's sudden. Okay, lovers, Gemini energy, somebody might be getting married, that might be, and having a child. So you see with the Empress is pregnant, somebody's getting pregnant out there, okay? You might be a mature woman and think you can't, but this is going to be like a gift. Because <coughs> you're going to be able to do it. And again, with the jurisdiction, <coughs> excuse me, somebody could just be going to court for like, to get married, like at court, but... Whatever it is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to entail some kind of sudden wealth. Show me the hidden truths for Taurus, please. Show me the hidden truths for Taurus. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. The first hidden truth is we will be together again. So you and somebody else, you know, if you don't think this, somebody else does that you will see each other again. Okay. I left you before you could leave me. These are self-explanatory, really. That's like a coward. That's somebody who thinks we're going to, like, they already plot, plotted the end before probably it even began. You know what I mean? Um, I am becoming a better person. So this person's working on themselves at least. So that's really good. You got to give them kudos for that. And here you go. I feel you even though we are apart. We are apart. And they don't react when anybody mentions your name. And they hope that you could forgive them one day. So whatever all that is for you, Taurus, I don't know. Let's get you a couple of letters. We love you. By the way, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity to infinity and beyond. Okay, so we have, I'm doing Fazio. <laughs> Fazio. Okay. Let's see. Two use. I'm hearing, I'm also hearing Augie. Like, remember Augie Doggy? <laughs> Augie. Okay, so it's Italian day here. Okay, A, E, I, O, and two use. All right, A E I O to you. You also have G R F Z D D. Okay, thank you. We love you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy, and trust in God. Karma is real. Till next time, love and light.